Barack, we're here to send a clear message to you. We're not gonna we're not gonna give up until Bashar al-Assad is gone. You need to stand up for human rights. These are the fundamental principles that our country's always stood for. And how much more blood do we have to be shed see shed until you take some action? President Barack Obama, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. We too have a dream that one day Syria will not be ruled by the family of the Jash. That Syria will not be ruled by one party. That Syria, the Syrian children will be able to run for offices in their cities, in their muhafazat. They will be able to run for president. They will have an opportunity. We have a dream that we can speak freely without being detained forever or being killed or raped. Mr. Obama, we bring you our masses. We bring you our mar martyrs. We bring you our raped women. We bring you our tortured children. And we ask that you fulfill the obligation of the United States to bring in liberty and freedom for all. May God bless you. May God bless the United States of America. And may God bless Syria. All right, we're back here Saturday, March 17, 2012 at the Syrian uh, rally here in Washington, D.C. We've got the mayor of Prospect Park, New Jersey, Mayor Kherala. Mayor, thank you so much for being here with us. Today. My pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, mayor, if, if you could send one message loud and clear to President Obama and members of Congress, what would it be? I would say that uh, 20 years ago I came to the United States and I, I had an opportunity to run for office here and I'm honored to be holding public office here. Um, in Syria, uh, children do not have that opportunity. Uh, young adults don't have that opportunity. They don't have an opportunity to thrive due to the barbaric regime that's, that's ruling Syria. Um, we ask the help of the United States in bringing liberty and freedom. I, I think we become more powerful by making friends and helping people liberate themselves rather than by keeping people oppressed. So I think uh, it, is, it is in the best interest of the United States uh, on all levels that, that we bring freedom to the United States because we need to make a friend of the Syrian people, not the Syrian regime. I want to pick up from, from there. Uh, you know, a lot of people argue that we should do it for moral reasons, right? Which is absolutely and undoubtedly correct, right? We can't just sit on the sideline. But let's put that aside for a minute and talk about the strategic reasons. The, the unique position of Syria in that in that region and then in, in being being able to create an ally in that region and then number two trying to avoid what our government fears a lot on a daily basis is terrorism may potentially infiltrate it because we don't do something could you comment about those strategic issues yeah I, I think financially uh, Syria is a major uh, trade in hub uh, it's a route between Asia and Europe and Africa uh, so if we look at it financially, it absolutely makes sense. If we look at it strategically, we keep saying that Iran and Hezbollah are, are terrorist organizations and states. Uh, by, by removing the Syrian regime, which is the conduit or the connection between Iran and Hezbollah, I think strategically we would uh, um, deprive both of them of supporting each other and uh, spreading each other's uh, agendas. Now, I, I want to send a message loud and clear to Senators McCain, Lindsey Graham from South Carolina, and Joe Lieberman. Uh, could you tell them very emphatically whether you support their efforts, their leadership efforts, uh, in terms of their action, they want to take what they want to take to help the Syrian people? I, I, I absolutely do, in terms of what, what the Syrian people in Syria are saying. They, they, they want to be able to protect themselves. I, I think uh, the uh, bringing ground troops is, is not in the best interest of Syria or the friendly countries. But we need to be able to arm the, the free Syrian army and able to protect in, in order to protect itself and the people and in order to bring freedom to Syria. You know, I've, got, I've got to ask you this question. As an elected official, you know, you, you think about these things. What, what we've met with several members of Congress and they've said We've got to make sure that we don't have another Iraq. Well, let's distinguish it. Iraq was a military invasion. 
we don't want another Iraq. Is that correct? That, that is absolutely correct. The, the mess or, or the reason Al-Qaeda was able to infiltrate Iraq is because they co uh, convinced their members that you're, you're fighting the United States, which is was their target since 2001 and, and before. So uh, by not bringing troops in and by, by arming people who are already militarily trained, they just need the firepower, I, I think we'll be able to achieve a goal without creating a chaos and a mess. Okay, so let's end on this note because we absolutely need humanitarian relief, is that correct? Absolutely. How do we do that without compromising those relief workers' lives because this Assad regime is relentless? I, I think you create uh, the buffer zones and, and the safe passages uh, and uh, when, when the free Syrian army is strong enough, I, I think you, you'll have a lot of uh, breakaways from the regular army and they'll be able to protect the relief people. All right. President Obama, members of Congress, you heard it loud and clear. The message is absolutely loud and clear from one of our very own elected officials, Syrian-born, American-bred, the mayor of Prospect Park, New Jersey, Mayor Kherala. Thank you so much for being Thank you very much. Free Syria!